Hey, hey, everyone. Selena here, founder, host, lead educator with the American Crochet Association, also the writer behind Selena Bakker Crochet. So I'm responsible for the pattern I'm about to show you today. So this is something that got uh, an overhaul in terms of format last week. So I already shared it with you guys. If you're on our newsletter, if you know, you know. Um, but I wasn't feeling well last week, so I didn't do this video introduction that I typically do for the crochet patterns that I revisit. So I'm here to do it now. If you guys are watching live, come on over, say hey, say hello, tell me where you're viewing from. If you're watching on the replay, it's the same jam. It's just as good. Um, so yeah, feel free to comment. Let me know where you're viewing from. Uh, feel free to post any questions that you may have. I would love to answer them for you. Now, these video reviews are not video tutorials. I'm just sharing information and I'm sharing what this um, article consists of. If you wanna get straight to the pattern, just click on the link in the video description. If you wanna learn more about the pattern and more about how I format patterns, particularly as a learning and educational tool, stick around for a minute, all right? Okay, so the granny square pillow cover is something that I wrote quite a few years ago. Um, and it's a pattern that is available in my pattern shops like Ravelry and things like that. Um, but I do like to choose very specific patterns to post for free that you can view for free at the American Crochet Association if it's some kind of teaching tool. And I think the granny square pillow cover is a perfect teaching tool. And there's so much that you can learn from it. Not only can you learn how to make a granny square if you've never made one before. I know there's still some of us out there who either have never or have never wanted to. So maybe a video tutorial charter instructions are appreciated. I've got all of that. Maybe you want to learn how to do that, but maybe you want to learn how to join granny squares together. That's also something that is part of this particular tutorial or this pattern. But other amazing resources that I really love about a particular pattern is it can be your friend. So if you're just starting in the world of crochet and you know all the and you know how to count them, how to work in rows, how to work in rounds, you're ready for something else, kind of things. Um, looking to skill in terms of yarn voice, um, gaze, eye, kind of figuring out measure is a fan in that realm. Then I just pillow or not well, granny. That's what I mean for those days. If in association for long, we would been on it. Your hands peak. This is the now is a reinterest. It's been all fair. So if you have a pillow and it kind of works. So have kind of square and make a pillow. You can be kind of you know, any square pillow that you have. You make that pillow. It's square or something. Take pillow. Right. All of these patterns and you quit in that pillow squares. So I want you guys through the four that I made on this pattern, just so you can see why I'm formatting things this way, what kind of information is in here, and how you can quickly and easily find it. Okay. So starting from the top and kind of scrolling down, I just talk a little bit about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it and why it's cool. But again, all of the teaching and learning objectives in here is that you can use yarn that you already have on hand. This will teach you how to granny squares and also how to use the join as you go technique to granny squares as you go. Uh, you can repurpose throw pillows that you already have on hand. That's what I did. I, I don't know why I have so many square pillow throws, but I do. So it's fun for me to go and cover those with different kinds of crochet. And that's certainly what I've done here. So you can also practice so many different crochet skills. So again, this is a great skill building um, project. You're going to learn how to work motifs. We'll learn how to join rounds. You're going to learn how to join motifs. You're going to learn complex stitch and round repeats. You're going to learn shaping, placement, color changing, finishing techniques, and so much more. So if you do read through this entire pattern, um, you know, from start to finish, if you read every, it might take about 13 minutes. So it's, it's not very long, but you can quickly and easily buy this table of contents, see exactly what kind of information I have here. And you can quickly and easily click on any one of these topics to get straight to it. So if you just want to get straight to the crochet pillow instructions, you can do that. If you want to know more about the materials, you can do that. If you want to see a granny square video tutorial, there you go. I mean, everything is quickly and easily findable right there. This is something you can pin to save for later. So you can either bookmark this page to quickly and easily find it, or you can just save it to your favorite Pinterest board. Uh, I do have some information here, like what is a granny square? I am certainly not the expert on the granny square history, so I've pointed you to some information where you can get more information if you're interested. Uh, how can a granny square turn into a pillow? You might be looking at this going... I don't get it. Uh, so I give you a little bit more information about the construction of how granny squares turn into a pillow. Uh, selecting the perfect yarn uh, in terms of how to choose yarn. I have some yarn suggestions here. Uh, I did use a yarn that has since been discontinued. So I talk a little bit about that. 
uh, different sizing options. Um, again, this granny square pillow cover is worked in different parts and each of those parts is fairly customizable. I did use a 16 inch square pillow, but you can use a completely different size. I think that the key here is that it does have to be square to fit within the parameters of this particular, but any square will do. So if it's 10 inches, 12, 14, 16, 17 by 17, 24 by 24, it doesn't matter. You can quickly and easily adapt this pattern to fit any square pillow form that you have. Uh, if you want to see other finished granny square crochet pillows, I've got you covered. So I am linking this pattern to Ravelry where you can see all of the finished projects. Check this out. I mean, this is a stash busting project. We can see all of these use lots of different colors and, and, you know, different color placements and things like that. And I have to give a shout out to one of our ACA members, uh, Linda Ward Thorpe. She's been with us for quite some time. She is truly an inspirational crocheter. Sometimes she'll go, hmm, I can adjust this. I can make this in any yarn uh, size I want. She made this in thread, my friends. This one right here, this down here, this is a thread project. This woman is just amazing. So anyway, if you truly want to get some inspiration in terms of the sizes and the materials and the colors and everything that you can work up for this pattern, like making a tiny little thimble or a uh, pin cushion. I mean, I think that that's what Linda here has made a pin cushion and this is made with thread. So super teensy tiny. You can do that. So lots of great inspiration. Uh, if you love this pattern, this granny square inspired pad inspired pattern, and you just want to see more, um, I do have other patterns you can view for here at the American Crochet Association. Granny Square Vest is one of them. Granny Square Table Runner is another one of them. And Granny Square Market Bag. Again, if you've been following the ACA for a little bit, you'll know that this is one of my most recent updates, the Granny Square Market Bag. So this pattern format is presented kind of like uh, or kind of in the format that I'm showing you guys here now. I just want to give you guys resources and information to help you with this particular pattern, but also to help build your knowledge and skills so you can follow any crochet pattern that you want. If you want to purchase a PDF file of this, if you don't want all the extra stuff and you just want to download and print and save and just have when you need a PDF, there are instructions for you guys to do that right here. Uh, how to crochet this pillow cover. I've got some granny square tips. I've got video tutorials. If you want to see exactly how I made my granny square, you can follow this video tutorial and it is a side by side for the instructions I have here. Uh, if you want any of the information on yarn, the materials that I use, including on how to find a um, square pillow form, I've got you covered, size and gauge, the stitch key. If you need to see any of these stitches in action or anything that's actually underlined in blue, either it's a tutorial or a resource for you to watch. A uh, specialty stitch and technique key. If you guys need to see the adjustable loop, that is a specialty technique in this pattern. I've got a video tutorial for you. If you want to see how granny squares are joined together, particularly with the join as you go technique, I've got a video tutorial for you. And then last but not least, the crochet pillow instructions. I have been doing something different with these uh, patterns that I'm posting uh, kind of in this article style that you can view with the American Crochet Association, every round I have in bullet point. And I think that it kind of breaks up the monotony of, of how you can read information on the internet. So hopefully presenting the pattern in this particular way uh, will just help you read and follow each row or round of instruction with greater ease. Let me know what you think. If you guys need to see a stitch chart of this, I do have one. So we've got that information for you there. And then everything that you need to make the back of the granny square and the front of the granny square. So there it is. Everything that you guys need to know and have and do to crochet your very own granny square pillow cover. Again, using any square pillow form that you have on hand, no matter what size it is. Um, and you can use any yarn that you have on hand. So maybe it's something that you already have in your stash, or maybe it's something that you see online or in store and you think it's beautiful and it's really going to match or make a space. Uh, you can do that. So lots of learning tools in here, lots of skill building techniques. And as you guys crochet this granny square pillow cover, I would absolutely love to see it. So please post your projects to Ravelry or share those finished projects in our community. I've got it linked here. Um, in the article so you guys can click on over and share your work because I would absolutely love to see. With this pattern or any pattern that I write under either Selena Baca Crochet or for the American Crochet Association, it always comes with pattern support 
and I'm just an email away. So if you have any questions, you need help, if you need any kind of additional support, I'm here for you. All right. If you guys love this pattern, do me a favor, maybe tag a crochet friend in the comments if you think they'll like it too. Share this video in at least one place that you enjoy crochet if you think they will enjoy this too. And then please, if you guys dig this pattern, um, share it on social, pin it to your Pinterest board, email it to yourself or your friend. Um, these shares really go a long way and I appreciate it. So if you dig it, let me know. All right, it looks like a few, a few of you guys are here, like Stacy Till, who says, love this pillow. I'm so glad, thank you so much. And it looks like R.M. Uh, Hendrickson is here and says, pretty, thank you. I'm so glad that you think it's pretty. Uh, you can make this in any colors and any yarn and any size that you want. Uh, so as you guys work it up, I'd really love to see. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. It is a pleasure and a joy to be part of the crochet community. Thank you guys for trusting the American Crochet Association. Keep me posted. I want to see your granny square pillow covers, okay? Peace, love, crochet, everybody. Bye-bye.